friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a hard cataract with grade 5 nuclear sclerosis let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with the 2.8 mm keratome and this is a side port on the left side of the main incision with a 15 degree lens tip knife and now this is an air bubble. Underneath this air bubble, trap and blue dye is injected over the anterior capsule uniformly on all areas. And now this is adrenaline, preservative free adrenaline to see if the people dilates little more. In this case, the dilatation is adequate at this moment. If this dilatation remains throughout surgery, there will be no problem. And let us see if the people has dilated a little more with adrenaline. Yes, you can see white area around the stained area. That much dilatation has occurred because of adrenaline. And now, visco has been injected again. And now, see the rexis. The anti-capsule has been incised and a capsular tag has been raised, a very nice capsular tag. I hold this tag with uterita, go anti-clockwise almost along the border of the people and thus I have got an adequate sized rexis of about 5.5 millimeter or 5.75 millimeter. Since this is cataract is hard, I needed rexis of this size. Now hydrodissection is being done in hard cataracts. Always inject fluid very slowly, very gently, and in multiple points. Mobilize the nucleus and rotate the nucleus. Now see the people has constricted to some extent. Visco is injected and now I am going to divide this hard nucleus into several fragments with my technique which I call submarine chop. But in this case I am going to do something new. In the bevel down position itself, I am going to make a tunnel. Here it is. I'm going into the substance of the nucleus and making this tunnel. And this is a very good tunnel. One more sculpt. Yes. Why this tunnel? Because the teeth will go into the substance easily now. The handpiece has been rotated, bevel is off. Now the handpiece, the teeth of the FECO handpiece is going through this tunnel towards the opposite equator. And the nucleus is divided here. A very nice crack rotate it 180 degree come to the opposite side hold on heminucleus and separate the two heminuclei completely and at this time I see that the people has constricted too much however I am dividing on heminucleus and I have been able to do this and now the people has constricted to dangerous level because the contract is very hard and if I continue most of the steps will be without seeing and that will be dangerous for the patient. Friends, if the people constrict during surgery of a hard cataract, it is always safer to use a people expansion device. 
and the people expansion device is this this is b hex but touch at the hexagonal it's a device beautiful device invented by dr suven vattacharji of kolkata and see two flanges have been tucked through the main incision it was necessary because i don't have a side port on the right side now through the left side port with the left hand the flange at 10 o'clock is stuck and now i have to check if the flanges are under the capsule or not no the capsule is free all around so the people has dilated to about 5.5 to 6 mm say 5.5 mm and now emulsification not emulsification this hemineucleus is to be divided into two large fragments one hemineucleus has been divided already and this is the other hemineucleus i go into the substance of the nucleus go towards the equator and use the chopper to divide the nucleus into two halves and now each fragment is tilted and emulsification of this large triangular piece is started from its apex feco power being used is 85% flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 mm of mercury and this is oddly cataryx 3 feco machine this is the second fragment and it has been emulsified emulsification is being carried out just below the iris plane that is on the anterior part of the capsular bag these two fragments were joined to each other that band has been broken by ultrasonic energy and now this fragment is being emulsified it is not necessary to divide the nucleus into many fragments make four fragments and then each fragment can be subdivided into two small parts if necessary and this is the last bit of the last fragment at this time the vacuum is reduced to some extent about 200 and the last piece is safely emulsified and this is this some um, lens matter at the side port it is being removed through the side port itself size of this side port is 1.6 mm and now the cortex is being removed with the help of this simco cannula because there is only one side port i cannot use a bimanual yes cortex is coming very nicely now i go through the side port and remove the cortex from 10 o'clock so cortical clean up is done nicely posterior capsule is cleared there is 
no lens epithelial cells sticking to the posterior capsule and now visco that is 2% HPMC is injected in the capsular bag and anterior chamber and now a hydrophilic monofocal single piece intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. The trailing haptic is pushed beyond the flange on the iris and it goes into the capsular bag. I can see the rexis margin here and the lens is in the capsular bag. Just imagine if we don't use this people expansion device in such a hard contract, what are the complications that can happen? Precedent and nucleus drop. Chances of this increases manifold. There is chance of iris injury and cortical cleanup cannot be so nice. You cannot check easily whether the lens is in the bag or not. Yes, you can use iris retractors and check all these, but during nucleus management, safety increases manifold if we use a people expansion device. You can use anything. You can use BHEX people expander or any other people expander or even iris hooks but it is always safer to dilate the people somehow and then do the surgery and see the people is almost round sphincter injury is very minimal or almost nil with this hexagonal people expansion device Visco is being cleaned at this time and I can see the anterior chamber is looking very clear now to the bimanual irrigation aspiration probes are being used now the irrigating probe goes behind the eye well in the capsular bag irrigates the capsular bag to remove the visco that is trapped behind the eye well and then the antechamber angle is cleaned irrigation and aspiration together can be used if we just lift the anterior leaf of the main wound leakage of fluid decreases and we can use both irrigation and aspiration. This is moxifloxacin and now the single side port made in this case is being closed in this way. BSS is injected into corneal stroma on either side of the side port. The stroma thickens and the side port closes. And now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber with 23G Simco. Friends, to increase the safety threshold, to increase the safety threshold, please use people expansion device in hard cataracts with small people. If the cataract is soft, you may avoid people expansion device but if it is hard, don't take any risk. Here the case is being concluded. Thank you very, very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with cataract blindness, with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.